Cat 329E. This video is in a request for a tutorial on how the controls work. Operator station. Climb in here. Starting on the floor to the left, just a foot pad. Left track control, right track control. Foot pad on the right, which has a locking pin in it if you don't want it, which is engaged right now. That's straight travel pedal. There's the hour meter. Working our way up the right side, we have our information screen. Air conditioning vent, cup holder. There's the door, which does roll up. Above the door, we have a, a sliding uh, roof hatch. You can open that and shut it. If you're working in trees or something, you might want to open that up so you can see up a little higher. Pull down sunscreen. And here at the seat, we have our joystick controls, safety lockout lever. Over here, we have the along the right side of the seat, we have the, the key, throttle, turn dial, controls for lights, windshield wipers, and settings. Quick connect, engage, disengage, after treatment, windshield wipers. Top one is the air conditioning controls, bottom one is the radio, 12 volt plug in, storage console. Up behind us, behind the seat, we have a uh, radio speakers, and behind the seat directly is the uh, rest of the air conditioning vents. It'll start to start the machine. All you have to do is turn the key. Get rid of that beeping noise. What that is, is the Lincoln Auto Luber throwing a fit, which sits out behind the cab right there. It's throwing a fit, saying that there's an error. There's our information screen, fuel, uh, hydraulic temperature, water temperature, percentage of your particular filters, how much soot levels in it, of course your time. Machine's equipped to the thumb, so it's in the thumb operation mode right now, and your numbers are your throttles. You throttle up, it goes one through ten. Down here you have your uh, your pages, your information centers. So for example, if you hit uh, let's see here, you hit, oh, you hit I, changes your top information, that's right. There you go, toggle through it. This machine's only got 153 hours on it. 1.2 gallon fuel per hour is what's burning right now. Hit your pages, it'll come up with your different machine settings. You can go into your service intervals, all your machine log, all that good stuff. Check your hydraulic oil, how long the hours it's got on, etc. etc. That is a rear camera, it's on all the time. Over here on the right side, there is a uh, there is a button over here. If I remember which one it is. Possibly. Yeah, it's that one. Number has the number six on it. You hit it, it'll change the screens. There's full camera, there's no camera. There's camera and gauges. Along the right hand window, there are charts that state, you know, lifting rate rates, control layouts, there's load rate charts. Lots of bullshit warning decals. Armrest. 
this, warm rest adjusters. Travel speed, fast and low. Um, automatic engine um, slow down when you're not in operation. This cancels out the, the beepers. Uh, we give it more power to lift. There's turns your lights on, click it once. Lower lights on, click it again. Upper lights are on. Windshield wiper, windshield wiper squirters, heavy lift circuit. And as I mentioned, throttle. Now here on the uh, controls, to engage your controls, release your safety lock, which puts this little bar out, so the idea is you can't exit the cab. Here you got a thumb control. That's called a momentary switch instead of a bang bang switch. I really like the momentaries over the bang bangs. And both sides have that. Either way, it'll work. Right side controller, pull back, boom comes up. Side to side is bucket. Left joystick, forward, or stick forward, pull back, stick back, swing to the left, swings the machine left, swing to the right, machine goes right. Buttons are horn. Uh, I think that's accessory. And you got one of them slows the engine down once wrapped up. There you go. You can hear the engine toggle up, toggle down. And on the back, there's some more joys, little buttons there, which would be for more accessories. Travel pedals. Are on the floor. Travel pedals be left track, right track. And you want to travel forward, you just push them both. You want to turn, power ground, you can counter rotate. It just all depends which way you want to go, what pedal you need. As I mentioned before, there's the beeper cancellation, so we'll track ahead, hit that, beeper off. E-Series has these funky mirrors outside the cab. That one sees down the left side. This one looks to the right side of the body. And over there, on the railings, they have mirrors that look down to the ground along the side. As you'll notice, the visibility behind you is quite limited on the E-Series machine. But it, uh, the way the service is and the way the body's designed, it's, it's a lot better machine. To give up a little bit of visibility for the, the newer designs, of course. It. This is a 329E. It's equipped with a 54-inch general purpose bucket with side cutters. And a uh, cat thumb. Six finger intermeshes with the teeth on the bucket. I think they would call that like a 120 degree rotation thumb. I know they have a progressive link uh, that's a uh, got a little more rotation. Um, this is this is a uh, Cat Pro series thumb, but the way that, that intermeshes really works out well for picking up small items or sticks. 